hey guys <laughs> is it even me if i'm not starting the vlog on some madness and wet from the shower because i promote hygiene or is that somebody else hi guys i'm back Oof. also that's going to be sorted but whatever let me tell you it has been a crazy 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 i don't know how many months and even when i was vlogging it was crazy so i left this channel for mental health and i'm back for mental health reasons um shout out to germany for giving us sunscreen that we can use because i'm not going to pay loads and this does the job am i going to squirt this on my face that is inefficient let me talk to you guys in a few. you guys have missed me because i've missed you too and i'm only vlogging because mental health yay i love that for me so i left this because of mental health but i'm coming back because of mental health and i have so much to catch up with you on now if you've been following me on tiktok you know i've been using tiktok more to share my ideas you know that i've gotten into afro philosophy i've always been into it but i love it down now um yes of course if you have looked at this channel you know i definitely had a traumatic medical health experience in germany i moved back to berlin i left nordrhein-westfalen and i have basically i can't speak and i have basically become a hermit but let's catch up on all of that i'm blonde for the summer and you know what they say about blondes we have the most fun so i'm tapping into that i'm tapping into that welcome back <laughs> You know what? I'm going to take you guys with me shopping right? and I don't usually go to these two stores because I don't know, they're supposed to be like discount stores and I don't, I basically don't go because the river has me in a chokehold. Okay, I'm joking. So anyway, that's not going to work. But I don't like shopping there. I don't like the stores. We have like an Edeka and we have a an Aldi. But I really I, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Like there's something about it. And I don't have the cards or whatever. So I am going to go to Kaufland. <laughs> yeah. The lift isn't working so we're using the stairs. This is so crazy. <laughs> Shout out to two broke windows. Cause I listened to it and I am very much hooked. So that's kind of my shopping doing stuff podcast. I have other podcasts that I listen to and I'm going to put them on the screen. Anyway, ladies, why are we not releasing episodes? Or why are we not also doing partners? Why are we going to do I have a discount to it. Nah. None of that. Actually, the day is over i blocked my own card so everything you guys saw me put basically couldn't be bought <sighs> like honestly this has never happened to me like i've never had this amount of brain fog but i have to go to work i have to keep it pushing and i'm going to be 30 minutes late because what an earth yeah anyway i was literally so exhausted but i went to babysit and yeah this is just me reading the book sometimes i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing or we're playing and then i usually just make shrimp noodle you just fry it in like butter and they have it with applesauce or i don't know what to call it yeah i like to brown it a little bit more because i think it tastes better and I think that we're eating or doing something else alone and I like reading these books. I think the kids' books in Germany sometimes are so hilarious because they are so morbid. But no, I was feeling it. I think I was so exhausted the entire time. 
yeah i really wanted to give you guys a puppy vlog but that's really difficult to do because things are always going wrong so this is the just case super embarrassing um because i was doing my little thing and then the people came <laughs> and i was in my own building because I'm basically here to work, so I was babysitting. But I was saying things always go wrong, and I'm going to make this vlog and post it regardless because you guys need to see that this has been happening consistently every time I try to vlog for YouTube. Because I have my plan, I'm like going to tell you everything of mine is planned to the T, and then things don't go well. But that shouldn't stop me because that's real life, yeah. Um, so now I'm going home. I didn't get groceries. I barely got stuff. I had to go to those stores that I hate that I was talking badly about. Um, I went to Aldi and Edeka just to grab like a few like, quick things. And I, I'm so mad because the deals that were there in Kaufland were so good. Like in terms of the fruit. Okay, so maybe I'll make time to do that over the course of the week or something. Um, but I have things to be grateful for in terms of this month. Like, I have a lot more disposable income than I had before, so I don't really need to stress about it and be, like, really strict about it. Um, I was going to not eat anything sweet for the month of june last month i wasn't eating meat this month i wanted to do sugar but i kind of went into a really stressful situation what i've learned though is you don't have to let that hold you back right like because this happened and everything kind of went to the dogs doesn't mean i have to stop my plan and i think my accent is very exaggerated when i'm passionate about something because i'm like oh my god and you can tell the motor is coming out i can definitely hear it or oh, it's because i'm nasally from my allergies uh but yeah, basically this is where we are. It's past 10 a.m. and it's not that dark. Like, yes, of course there's lights, but the, the sky is not giving that, that level of darkness. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't have to stop things. I don't have to be a perfectionist. Sometimes I want all my days to line up. I want it to be the 1st of June and everything starts on the 1st and ends on the 1st or the 30th or something like that. But so it, like everything is well rounded. But that's not going to happen. So I'm not going to dwell on that. Deep breaths. Tomorrow we start again. Sugar free. And I'm not doing that because of uh, fat phobia. Okay, why am I burping? I'm not doing this because of fat phobia. I'm doing it for discipline's sake. The way I quit meat for discipline, I can do that now. But more than that, another time, another day. Um, yeah, my gloss is Essence. I am absolutely loving the new Essence glosses. This is too long for your small, small, itty bitty, uh, what is this called? Attention spans. And maybe I'm going to have to edit this differently because, like me, you guys are also used to like short form content now. And so, of course, I'm rambling about something that's super, 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 super important to me. But you guys lack the capacity to digest that. I want to go blow my nose now because allergies. Oh, hey y'all. I am actually suffering. Uh, oh, this is L'Oreal. Um, I think it wasn't a special or I just was surprised by how cheap it was so I decided to try it out it's a dark strobe like it's not that deep I should have probably checked it on the no thanks app but uh, I think I was excited so I'm going to have to use it as just have my natural cold so now I feel safe or I look and I sound very very sick but I'm actually not um and let's go on to the medication because this is so terrible and I don't know why I'm going to take um some antihistamine and this is the kind that you take at night and then you kind of sit at the whole day one thing about me and I've debated saying this or not but it's okay because I'm not going to be bullied anyway. I'm actually on birth control now um, as a last resort solution because everything else doesn't work. Look at my ghetto railings. Like, I'm not a DIY girl. That's men's work. My Laurel, oh Lord have mercy. 
uh, yeah, I would say my dad would have done that for me with somebody else, this men's work. I have no interest in learning how, but I probably will have to. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, and it has to do with reproductive health, right? I'm taking birth control as medication, not because I'm trying not to have babies. <laughs> I wouldn't have babies anyway. Um, but yeah, I have to. Yo, my eyes look, I look like a nail bit. I look very tired, even though I literally have showered and used this thing that i've been using sparingly guys if you're coming from the ua uk into the eu well i just miss those words up please bring this uh, uh to me i need some more or at least give me an alternative i'm still looking for alternative i love going to bed smelling like cocoa because it helps me i have a sleep disorder apparently this is iron that i take because shout out to my anemic girls Good night, y'all. Good morning, lovies. Welcome to a brand new day. Today is going to be the last day of vlogging because I need to ease myself into it so I don't want to capture and capture footage and not be happy with it. And there's a lot of me blabbering, so I think I'm going to take you along this process. I've already been doing some things. Um, I've been up. I talked to my beautiful sister. I had a time. Now I'm cooking. Today I'm making mufushwa, which for those who don't know, is basically dried vegetables that I got from um m and m i don't know I'll, I'll link them up there in germany 10 out of 10 efficient service and they sell like zimbabwean products basically um so we're going to make that i have my temba and then i'm going to try and make that i've never made mufushwa in my life um so i've already done the first rinse because if you don't know they dry it on the ground basically so they sometimes sand from the drying process um so i soak it up and i basically use a, a fork And this is also like very vegan-esque. Somebody made something in a pan and I left it here because I was like, maybe they just forgot to clean it up. They're not going to. But this is kind of getting on my nerves. So I'm going to do it because I don't like living in a dirty place. people leaving like just so much stuff my vegetarian option for the week lentils frozen veggies asian style and tofu TikTok because it's easier that way. Let me wait for my friend. I wonder how long it's going to take to be there. Wait. Right. Hermannstrasse or oh, Hermannplatz in Italy. I only come here because one of my old roommates told me that this is where to get the best shawarma. This place is kind of raggedy. I'm not going to lie. But do I care? Also for today, we'll go to Sunday. It looks very chill. I'm home wearing a robe. 
closing off this this is something terrible that i want to stop um and since i'm going to be training or trying to build muscle mass and all of that um this month i am eating it's not my last meal i don't <laughs> eat whatever i want you can tell i'm definitely very healthy um <laughs> well well fed healthy is something else i'm definitely well fed but i needed to have this falafel because i want to go back into my less needs journey if you guys will see what i cooked i made my jumba in mofushwa it was my first try at making mofushwa so it didn't really work and then i ended up having to clean but the game museum was absolutely fantastic and i was just thinking about who we can archive up in Zimbabwe if we were to make such an archive of who are the people that are going to be like our icons what clubs are going to be the places that we like where the underground places for queer people to live in like i can't wait for a time where queer people in Zimbabwe speak about the atrocities that they face the discrimination the calls for their genocide as a thing of the past like you know they used to live under a crypto fascist regime where everybody found it so easy to just lobby for their genocide and that would be a past tense thing not to say the the queer people in germany have made it all like there's so many things that need to be corrected if you don't know what i'm talking about everything is going to be on tiktok but yeah it's not all that way through but i can't wait for it and also sex workers this entire exhibition was made curated by sex workers 10 out of 10 no notes but i hope you guys had a great time kimchi is like basically me trying to build my microbiome so it's the the healthier um i won't be buying <laughs> that spice kicked i won't be buying kimchi from them again because it's terrible I hear what my mouth does then but it'll have to work because I already bought it